with displays of high-end American and European automobiles perfectly restored from the 1890s to the 1990s, if you're a fan of antique, vintage, and classic cars, then the Niedercut Collection is the place to visit. Considered one of the best car museums in the world, the museum is actually two separate facilities, the museum and the collection across the street from each other. The museum requires a reservation for one of two daily guided tours. The collection is open to the public at no charge. The neither cut collection of beautifully restored automobiles in pristine condition is very impressive. Each car on display is in perfect drivable condition as when the vehicle originally rolled off the showroom floor. The variety of cars and models the museum displays is outstanding. Many of the autos in the collection have won major awards such as Best in Show at the prestigious Pebble Beach Concourse Elegant along with cars once owned by movie stars, royalty, and other famous personalities. In 1956, J.B. Neithercutt purchased his first antique cars and began a meticulous restoration of a 1933 Duesenberg convertible roadster and a 1933 DuPont town car. Two years later, he won his first best in show at the Pebble Beach Concourse de Elegance. As he collected more cars, J.B. Niedercutt and his wife Dorothy opened up a museum to display their world-class collection. In 1971, Niedercutt opened up the facility known as San Silmar in Silmar, California to house his collection. In 2000, a new building was opened across the street from the San Silmar building. The collection, as it is known, has opulent automobiles from the 1920s to the 1990s with over 130 antique, vintage, and classic automobiles on display. Most of the cars in the collection were built before 1942. There were a few newer models. All are in beautiful condition. There were four major eras covered in the automobile collection with outstanding examples of models from each era. The antique era from 1890 to 1915 has examples of the innovations and development of the horseless carriage built by a number of small companies of artisan, craftsmen, and engineers. One of the highlights of this era, Mercedes Double Phantom Torpedo was the fastest, most powerful car built in 1913. The vintage era from 1916 to 1924 has a collection of autos that fit in between the expensive custom vehicles and the mass-produced Fords, Chevrolets, and Dodge of the era. An example is the 1923 Azu Vincent, originally owned by silent film star Rudolf Valentino. A coiled silver cobra adorns the hood of Valentino's Azu Vincent Roadster. The classic era, from 1925 to 1948, has as a centerpiece a custom-bodied 1933 Duesenberg model SJ Arlington Torpedo Sedan. If you were an aristocrat and didn't lose your fortune in the crash of 29, this was the car for you. Regarded as one of the most beautiful cars ever built, it was dubbed the 20 grand for the original price for when it was new. The post-war era, 1945 to 1970, involves vehicles with increasing engine power and speed. European car makers integrated new technologies, and Japan began its climb as a leader in automobile manufacturing. The collection does not seem to be arranged in any particular order, most likely due to cars being driven to keep them in working order. The museum tour begins in the five-story San Silmore building basement with dozens of cars on display. The next floor is the Grand Salon, the crown jewel of the museum. 
The Grand Salon showroom with marble floors and columns, crystal chandeliers, and mirrored walls is designed to look like an opulent, a luxury automobile dealership from the 1920s. Over 30 antique, vintage, and classic automobiles are displayed in one of the most beautiful settings in any museum in the world. The museum houses more than just cars. On the mezzanine level are displays of some of the awards that Mr. Neathercutt's collection has won over the years. On the top floor, there are no cars on display. The museum has assembled a collection of antique furniture and contains the world's largest collection of mechanical musical instruments. There are music boxes, player pianos, orchestrons, and just like the cars, every instrument is in perfect working condition. One of the stars of this collection is the 1926 Mighty Wolitzer Theater Pipe Organ one of the world's largest and most powerful pipe organs with over 5,100 pipes. Just outside the museum is the newest addition to the collection, a 1938 Canadian Royal Hudson steam locomotive and a 1912 Pullman rail car. Owned by the California Baldwin family, the Pullman was used as a private residence and for family trips across the country. The museum has beautifully restored the steam engine and private car using original blueprints and photographs. The Niedercut collection contains one of the world's most important exhibits of antique and classic automobiles along with mechanical musical instruments and historical furnishings. This hidden gem of a museum is another destination temptation.